Find the points at which the graph of the equation below has horizontal and vertical tangent lines. We're going to use uh, implicit differentiation to do this. So the graph of this equation will have horizontal tangent lines whenever dy dx is 0. And it'll have vertical tangent lines whenever dy dx is undefined. So the first thing we'll do in this problem is use implicit differentiation to differentiate this and we'll find dy dx. So solution. So we'll start by using implicit differentiation. So recall when you're using implicit differentiation and you have an equation, all you do is you differentiate both sides with respect to x. So in this case when we differentiate this we'll get 2 times 25 so we get 50x plus, and then 2 times 16, that's 32y, times the derivative of the inside function, right? So the derivative of y is dy dx. It's the chain rule, right? We actually used it here too, because we did 2 times 25, and then we multiplied by the derivative of x. x is the inside function, but that's just 1, right? So there's really an invisible 1 here, which I didn't write, plus 200. That's the derivative of 200x minus 160. And then we have a y, so we write dy dx. That's the derivative of y. And the derivative of 400 is 0. So all of this is equal to 0. So now what we'll do is we'll factor out dy dx from these two terms. So we have dy dx, parentheses, 32y minus 160. And then we'll subtract this and this over to the right hand side. So that'll be equal to negative 50x minus 200. To finish, we'll divide everything by this piece here. So we end up with dy dx equals negative 50x minus 200 over 32y minus 160. Okay, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. So we're going to have horizontal tangent lines when the slope is 0, and we're going to have vertical tangent lines when the slope is undefined. Okay, so the slope is going to be 0 whenever the top piece is 0. So that means that negative 50x minus 200 is 0. That means that negative 50x is equal to 200. That means x is negative 4. So x equals negative 4 is going to give us horizontal tangent lines. And then it'll be undefined whenever the bottom is 0. So that means that 32y minus 160 should be 0. That means that 32y equals 160. That means y equals 5. So recap. We're looking for the points on the graph of this function of this equation um, where we have horizontal and vertical tangent lines. Horizontal tangent lines will occur um, when the derivative is zero because the derivative is the slope of the tangent line. Vertical ones will occur when the derivative is undefined. We took the derivative using implicit, and then we know that this whole fraction is zero when the top is zero. So when x is negative four, we have horizontal tangent lines, and when y is five, we have vertical tangent lines. The problem wants the points, though. So what we have to do now is go back and use this original equation. So I'm going to scroll down. And I'm going to go ahead and write down the equation again. So we have 25x squared. This is the original one. Plus 16y squared plus 200x minus 160y plus 400 equals 0. So let's do the horizontal ones first. So when x is negative 4, we have to find the y value. There might be more than one, so it could be y values. So when x is negative 4, let me write that again, it's hard to see. We're going to plug it in here into this equation. So we have 25. When you square negative 4, you get 16 plus 16y squared plus uh, 200 times negative 4. That's going to be 200 times negative 4 minus 160y plus 400, and that's equal to 0. 
All right, 25 times 16, I believe, is uh, 400, I think. Let me, uh, it should be, let me put it on my calculator, not taking any chances. Yep, 400, 400. This is 400 plus 16y squared minus 800, right? 4 times 200 is 800 minus 160y plus 400, and that's equal to 0. Oh, look at this, 800 <laughs> minus 800, they cancel, how rigged, 16y uh, squared minus 160y, and that's equal to 0. We can pull out, we can pull out a 16y, so we get y minus 10 equals 0. So now we get two answers for y. We get y, so well, we, we, we set each piece equal to 0, and then we get two answers. We get y equals 0, and we get y equals 10. So when x is negative 4, we have two different y values. So we have two answers for the horizontal tangent line. So the horizontal tangent lines, horizontal line, the horizontal lines occur at negative 4, comma, 0, and negative 4, comma, 10. Right? So that's where we have, that's where this equation has horizontal lines. Perfect. So now we need to find the vertical tan lines. So to find the vertical tan lines, we're going to do the same thing, except we're going to plug in y equals 5. So you have 25x squared. So when y is 5, we have 25x squared plus 16 times 25, right, because 5 squared is 25, plus 200x minus 160 times 5, plus 400, and it's all equal to 0. Good stuff. 16 times 25 is 400. Uh, this is negative 800. This is 400. So boom, the magic happens again. All of this goes away. So you get 25x squared plus 200x equals 0. At this point, we can pull out a 25x. This is x plus 8 equals 0, right? 8 times 25 is, is 200. So we get two answers here. We get x equals 0, and we get negative 8. So the vert tan lines will occur at the point, let's see, so 0, and then the y value here is 5, and then the other one would be negative 8, 5. So I kind of rushed this video because I don't have a lot of time right now, but I just wanted to make this because someone had uh, asked about it on the internet. So uh, kind of a cool problem. I had never done it before. Um, I hope it made sense.